The following video and explanation shows the Cavendish experiment observations recreated with ferrofluid and a magnetic field. It is the pulling together of matter. Yet the reason and cause is due to electromagnetism and electricity not made up word gravity. Energy attracts matter. This is how your veins and tree limbs are made, just to show it works on all things. Gravity is a speed at which something falls, nothing more. There is no experiment to show gravity except the bending of light in a gravitational field. The debunk for this is laser light through soap bubbles alters the path, so it's not proof of anything except light may be redirected. And the Faraday effect shows light can be bent by a magnetic field in a medium, which would be plasma here in space. Then we have gravitational redshift. Again, more theory saying white light goes red when accelerated away, which cannot be verified except to say the universe is expanding. I say redshift is stars going out, as redshift has been seen in front of blue shift, which they say is impossible. Yet it happens. But it is not reported, because it shows it to be a lie. I recreate the Cavendish experiment observations with electromagnetism. Yesterday I re recreated gravity using electromagnetism. How is redshift measured? Astronomers also use redshift to measure approximate distances to very distant galaxies. The more distant an object, the more it will be redshifted. Do you see? The further away, the more redshift. Wrong. Blues are in front of reds and blues are behind reds. Some very distant objects may emit energy in the ultraviolet or even higher energy wavelengths. The only way to debunk this is by telling me how rain forms by gravity. An electromagnetic double helix field creates spheres and pulls them in. Tell me how gravity does it, please. So, the Cavendish effect. Two veins, two spheres being pulled together. Nothing to do with gravity. It's to do with EM forces. This is the construction which uses uh, torsion balance made of six foot wooden rod horizontally suspended from a wire two inch diameter 1.6 pound lead spheres each attracted to each attached to each end two 12 inch 348 pound lead balls were located near the smaller balls about nine inches away held in place with a separate suspension system the experiment measured the faint gravitational attraction between the small balls and the larger ones i say it's electromagnetism they're using metal here so am i the two large balls were positioned on alternate sides of the blah 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 you can go and look at that experiment if you want to you have to use metal in the Cavendish experiment. Metals are moved by electricity and electromagnetism, as I have proven. So let's be clear here. Their science observations are from 100 years old, before electricity and electromagnetism were considered anything. And NASA, up until a few months ago, stated electricity and electromagnetism played no role in space. They have changed that thought now, very quietly and covertly, as all science say that's a lie. And all science shows these forces at work. So they had to say it exists. Remember that, a few months ago. The problem with this rubbish, their mutual attraction causes the arms to rotate and their combined gravitational force, both of these statements confirm their idea, which is not science. This is an assumption. Based upon their premise, gravity exists. They form the conclusion based on the observations and assign their word to it, gravity. Based on what they want you to hear to confirm their supposed findings. You cannot claim gravity. Why? Because there is no mutual attraction of matter. Energy moves matter, as I have proven. I have shown that electromagnetism rotates matter. I have shown that energy twists, the same as gravity. Except, I have proven my mechanics on video. So here is evidence of matter pulling together, just like the Cavendish experiment, again disproving gravity and showing electromagnetism and electricity rule the universe. Mainstream gravity is now replaced by collect correct electromagnetic theory. Energy moves matter. And it is confirmed. Mutual attraction. It's how veins are constructed, tree limbs, bones, heart, lungs, brain, everywhere. If it makes a tube, it can make a connection. And there's two of them being pulled together into one. It is not gravity. It is an electromagnetic helix rotation induction, which pulls all matter together. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ. And this is really, really easy, really. Thanks a lot.